people in a Wake County neighborhood tell Five on Your Side squatters have taken over a foreclosed home on their street, damaging the property and making neighbors uneasy. A viewer tipped us off to what was happening, and WRL's Keely Arthur found squatters have rights that make it difficult to get them out. For four months, Keith Purcell has been living next to squatters. Nobody's supposed to be in there. Nobody owns that. It's vacant. Purcell and his neighbors tried calling the foreclosed properties management company and law enforcement. And the sheriff's department has been out here three times that I know of. But in North Carolina, squatters or people who move into a home, even though they don't own or rent it, still have rights. A property owner has to evict them, just like they would a tenant. Squatters are typically trying to figure out a way to take possession of the property legally. And oftentimes they know what the rules are to the game and they have the ability because they know those rules to cause massive confusion for the landlords that want to get them out. Neighbors looked up property records, and at the time, USAA was the owner. But neighbors said contacting them didn't go anywhere, and everyone was getting more concerned about the strangers living down the street. And I have no idea what to do. We've been trying to find out, you know, calling everybody. That's why you're here. <laughs> we tried to talk to the people in the home, but they didn't answer. When we dug deeper, we discovered the owner situation was complicated. A USAA contractor tried to transfer the deed over to the VA who backed the loan. But the VA told Five on Your Side they denied the transfer because of a technical error. So even though the deed was in the VA's name, they said they don't have any rights to the property. At this point, no one is claiming the right to evict. It's more common than people realize. Realtor Brian Pate says squatting is a problem in the triangle, and because of the way homes are advertised, it can be easy for squatters to find easy targets. They can go online to almost any real estate website, and you can look at the photographs and tell if the property is empty and if it's vacant. And a lot of times, that's how they'll do it. Five on Your Side learned a company called Mr. Cooper Group had been managing the foreclosed property. When we started questioning them about the situation, they told us they were recalling the deed, inspecting the property immediately, and would remove any potential squatters. But that could easily take weeks, even months, for the eviction process to all play out. Here in North Carolina, it's generally 45 to 60 days in most cases, but it can extend beyond to 90 or 120, depending on the scenario. Hopefully they will move on. Now, after we started asking questions, the Wake County Sheriff's Office opened an investigation. They tell us they're speaking with the property management, but can't give us any more details as of now. Keely Arthur, five on your side. Multi-million dollar home for sale near Charlotte. A man and woman were very interested. The problem, police say they moved in without paying a dime for the home. Tanya Mendez tells us how two squatters became a big headache for one family. Down its own private drive, on its own grassy hill, is the house Davidson Mayor Rusty Knox and his sister Beth once called their parents' home. This was my parents' dream house. Uh, my mom drew a picture of what she wanted. She had it framed on our wall for years in our old house, and they finally built it. The home empty for the last year. So imagine their surprise when someone they didn't sell to and someone they actually didn't know at all showed up with a 26 foot moving van, found a key and moved in. They had unloaded furniture uh, in several rooms. Um, uh, everything was in disarray. When the Knox family found squatters in their home, they called the police. But Tremaine Thorne and Takia Barber wouldn't leave. I felt so violated, just mad. Davidson police say the pair filed a deed and claimed they had every right to be there. Mayor Knox says no, they didn't. Need to have someone come in with falsified documents and, and claim ownership uh, uh, illegally. The pair pledge allegiance to the Moorish Nation, a fringe organization that believes in their own sovereignty and is known to try to stake claim of others' property. NBC Charlotte has told you about it happening in Charlotte before, but it's a first for the town of Davidson. Police quickly put a stop to it. Within seven hours, they were in handcuffs, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the family has put up signs hoping the couple won't come back. Worried, though, that if someone can squat at the mayor's house, it can happen to anyone. And I still don't understand how the system lets them get away with this. Mm. 
That was Tanya Mendes reporting. Now, the men and women are, woman arrested in this case are both facing misdemeanor charges. But uh, wild. they stole a house. <laughs> they did. Right? Didn't That's know you cool. could That's do wild. that.